Hello everyone! Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Cassandra and this is Ella Bella Plans. I have been in a bit of a filming funk lately so I just thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this. In today's video I'm going to be talking about my 2021 plans in regards to my planners. So just a brief recap of 2020. I was using my personal size rings Oh gosh, I can't even say the majority of the year, for about half of the year. And then I transitioned into bound books. And it first started with an A6 Stalogy, and then I moved on into a B6 Daily Planner from Wonderland 222. And following the Daily Planner, I went into their Weekly. So my original intention had been to use the Weekly and the Daily in tandem with each other. That did not end up happening due to the fact that the cover I had, which was a B6 Giulio Appunto, just did not fit the combination particularly well. In my personal opinion, I just felt like it was a little too thick. Um, so then I ended up purchasing this Moterm Planner and I've been using the Wonderland 222 Weekly in this, which I prefer the fit. Uh, I do just have the planner in here. There is nothing else. Um, and yeah, it's been a nice combination. So the reason why I'm going to be using this differently in 2021 is that the daily pages, there are only so many of them in the back. And I take notes on books that I'm reading and I'm trying to be more intentional about what I'm reading and how often I'm reading as a form of self-care. So I am still planning on using this planner. However, it's going to be just dedicated for homeschooling, tracking our time, the subjects we're, you know, ticking off for the day so on and so forth. So this is still going to be in my lineup, but it's going to have a very dedicated purpose, not an all-in-one, which is what I'm using it for with the end of the year. And because I wasn't happy with the amount of daily pages in the B6 Wonderland 222, I've actually got a Hobonichi cousin of VEC. And um, in case you haven't seen an VEC before, you get your yearlies. I'm going to be using um, this yearly overview as an index, pre-planning for these pages. And then you have your month on two. You also get a weekly view, week on two pages, just like the Wonderland 222. And then you get a day per page for each day of the six months that this planner holds. So I'm going to be using this Hobonichi Tacho like I have been my Wonderland 222. However, there are so many more daily pages, so I'm gonna be using those to take notes, um, maybe do a little bit of memory keeping, we shall see. So that's gonna be my Hobonichi Tacho of Beck, cousin of Beck. <laughs> Sorry, kind of new to this size in the Hobonichi world. So um, I do actually have an A5 Giglio Apunto in the color Anthracite. Sorry, I had to <laughs> take a moment. And that's going to be the same color as my um, personal size rings. So I am so, so, so excited to get that in. This is just one of my most beloved planners. And so I can't wait to see um, how the larger size looks. Now, the last planner I have, and let me just preface this by saying, this is so strange for me. I'm usually a one planner person, and so to have three <laughs> seems like so much, but um, so for this Hobonichi Weeks, um, this is going to be used as a tarot journal. This past year I've been using an A6 Stalogy as a tarot journal and what I did was I numbered all of the pages and I think I did a two page spread per card. And so I numbered all of those out and as I pulled a card I would go to it and um, you know write down my thoughts and such. So in here what I'm doing is I'm just going to be pulling a card per day and then give me one second here and I'm just going to be writing the card along here and then my quick thoughts there and then using this page to write anything more on it. So I am currently working my way through Tarot for Yourself 
by Mary Kay Greer, and I wish I would have started with this book. It's absolutely just what I wanted and needed for like 2021. <laughs> um, so I'm currently working my way through this, and as I'm taking notes on that, I'm using um, the notes pages in the back. And then, like I said before, I'm going to be using the weekly spread for a card a day when I can. Um, and as for the monthly view, I'm actually using the monthly view as I would any of my other planners. This is just so compact. My thought was that if I needed to bring something with to reference a monthly view, this could go with me in my purse. So um, super happy with this. And also I just forgot how tiny these are. It's just the perfect purse planner in my opinion. Now, my only other thing for 2021 is I do have my personal size ring set up. And this is set up just because come September, um, I might end up back in here depending on how the world is, but I do have this set up and I'm thinking what I'll be doing is using this mostly for finances. I have this section set up for my authorized printing services where I track um, expenses. And then I do also have in here, I believe like um, a no spend tracker, online orders, you know, so on and so forth. So I do have this set up, but I don't believe it's really gonna be part of my daily rotation, but we shall see once we get closer into 2021. So there you have it. That's currently my lineup at the end of November. Again, we shall see come January 1st. But thank you so much for watching this video. I really and truly appreciate you and I will see you in the next.